Do you know that the Vertigo tour might gonna be in the Guinness Book of World of Records because everything has been sold out <laughs> since the beginning from yeah. all the concerts from March to December. Mm -hmm. And how do you guys feel that after so many years, people still adore you guys so much? Um, <laughs> well, it's a lot better than if they didn't like us. You know, it, it's it's <laughs> great to to be to have been doing this for like 25 years and you know still have a young audience that comes to the shows yeah. it's not just you know it's not an old audience that gets older with you and for us to kind of have that young audience that it i mean it's where we always remember ourselves coming from you know when we first started to play we were 18 19 20 we were passionate about music and and that's kind of where we are in our heads you know so when we see kind of young people coming to the shows and being passionate about the music that just um it inspires us to kind of just keep going and, and do more. So are we gonna expect like a tour in 2006 also? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just finish it early. then we'll see. Yeah. Rumor yeah. says about Japan and I think I think we'll definitely um, we'll definitely in 2006 definitely go to Australia. We um, we had to we had to leave Australia this time around uh, just for various different reasons. So I think we'll definitely go to Australia um, early next year and um, we're talking about whether we will do some more but we'll, we'll judge that you know, when the time comes. City of Blinding Lights is dedicated to New York, right? Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, the U2 was the first band to perform, to, to have a concert after the September 11th mm -hmm. happened. What do you remember about that night? It was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it was kind of weird coming into the city because coming into the city, we knew the city was in, in a state of mourning in a way. You know, and it was, it was a very quiet and sober city. And then, you know, when, when we walked on stage, it just kind of erupted. And, you know, it was nothing really to do with us. It was like the first time people who lived in the city had been together in a, a mass Mm -hmm. space like that you know in a large space and and I guess it was like you know going to some kind of a, a party after some real tragedy and actually just yeah. remembering it's about people and about relationships and about each other yeah it was it was it was one of those um, when you looked out into the audience like people laughing and crying all at the same time and it was like it was it was kind of overwhelming it really was one of those. You know, there are there are moments in your uh, in your life that s stick with you, and, and definitely New York after September the 11th was was really one of those. And it's funny because the further you went, you know, towards you know Los Angeles, the further west you went, the 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 less 9/11 had affected people, which was really kind of interesting. You know, because yeah. they they you know they didn't know the same amount of people so just the the effect was was very different so but I mean New York was like that was the epicenter yeah and um, so it was it was quite a trip